Hello everyone, so my name is Sangha Rizky and I am from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to continue the product design process and in this video we will learn how to make the low fidelity wireframe to become the visual design with the design reference that we got in the previous video. So for you, if you are missing out that video, you can go back to the previous episode and you will know how can we find the design references for free. So right now, let's get started to make the visual design. Okay everyone, so uh, previously that we have prepared the references, this is the few items that we can use as the references but if you need more you can visit dribble.com or behinds.net so this is our project which is the remote and we're gonna to duplicate it by save us and in the project that you can find or make it as the visual design version 1 so if you got something new that you want to improve by the design for the pixel and then you can change it by the version 2 okay so we're working on the version 1 all right nice since the adobe xd uh, able to change the gradient color the typograph and the another things that we need so we we are able to design it to look like more beautiful or pretty all right so first of all we can start from this plus screen right and then for the color scheme so i was thinking that we can use this color scheme right because it looks nice but this is looks like clean but i prefer like for by using this color scheme first of all i'm gonna copy this and then i have to press here all right but i think just put here okay and i'm gonna make it small all right cool and then in the plus screen you can select this plus screen and then you can find the uh, linear gradient here just copy like this and then you have to define the first color and the second color right so we can start from the first color that we can use the pen tool here and then second color that we can get from here okay look amazing right okay so this is for the loading so for the loading i think that i can use the uh yellow color from here okay and I think we're gonna copy this loading by command D or duplicate and then I want to change to the other color the second color so we make it like this and then you select the the first layer that you can decrease with maybe 100t so you will see the difference between color this is for the placeholder and this is for the fill but i'm gonna make it all right so you can see the difference between of the loader here nice and then uh, yes, uh, actually that I have been I have been designed for the icon with my Sketch app here. So we're gonna take a look here and I think this one Oh, yeah, so this is my personal logo. So we're gonna to uh, we're gonna export this design Yeah, actually you have to prepare one logo all right so this is for the logo all right cool so we're going to the set and logo you can copy this or just keep it first and I want to provide the the design 
the place order so I can take this okay but I want to make it square which is 80 by 80 oh, I think we're gonna make it bigger it's about uh, 100 110 110 okay and then just put the radius 20 okay and I want to select this logo and put here and boom we got the logo pretty nice right so this is for the splash screen that we will uh, that we will develop so alright now we continue to the onboarding right so here I want to copy this one but to make it more easier I want to select this and color and you got this color and you just need to select this and select this color and boom I love Adobe XD pretty nice right and select this select those layer in the group you select all of them and then you use the pen drop to select this okay and then select the first one and you just need to go in here and put the color which is orange right. and then in the kill the app and this one we're gonna make it white color and for this we haven't designed the illustration yet so at the moment we can use this color okay i will select this to add the, add the color okay nice and this one we want to make it become blue color like this and the continue it had to be white and the blue color i select it to add the color and for this i think it not centered yet so all right now we select this design how about we use this and this one for the white color i think we make it darker like this yeah we got it and save the color boom and don't forget to save your document okay it looks nice right so for this just repeat the steps all right as you can see here that i have finished it for the onboarding with the current style it looks nice than before right so you're gonna to make you're gonna make it more beautiful uh, as well maybe you can choose this color with the minimalist designs or you can use the dark tone by this color we are not styling the design we just use their color scheme right okay so first this design that we have to make it uh, look same all right so first of all i'm gonna make it like this and the folder sent in you're gonna make it white and the login that i think i don't need border anymore so let's go back to the layer here uh, you select this and there's border so you're not you don't need border here so just like this Okay, I, I think I did border. Okay, and when I click here, I don't have border. Cool. All right. So this is for the username, and you select this password and no border, and you select again and no border. Okay, and the send in that you have to change it to be uh, blue, and this button have to be white, and the create account. You can change it to be white and for the uh, rectangle you have to make it become white color also so, so for the border you have to be white so this is what you got for the set in and actually that you have to repeat the the step here so i have been followed this uh set in and uh, we're gonna continue for the dashboard that we have to make it become like this and it have to be white color 
yeah it's kind of simple but looks amazing right so here uh, because this is the same item so actually we just need to remove first just remove first remove and we're gonna focus on this item so basically I want to remove this border and select this background and go back to the layer here and select this layer and you have to change it to the another color which is that we save previously like this all right so for this it have to be the the icon right so in this case we don't have the icon yet so we have to provide maybe we can at the moment that we can use orange color okay so for the text here that you have to change to become white color and the kill button it have to be blue the way we do like this and kill okay so this is the uh, the yellow color actually it's only for the placeholder at the moment so later on we will designing the icons and then we can replace on this screen right okay so we can copy and paste here right let me check the margin or oh, 16 okay the margin it have to be 16 and here you can change back again to the photoshop and maybe two hours 10 minutes okay and then we have to copy this and the margin top is 30 okay so you have to be users uh, user online and this is maybe my brother computer uh, this is uh, okay actually this is the status which is offline or online I think we have to figure out about this or maybe my users okay so here it have to be few different purpose of the buttons uh, okay everyone so before we we'll continue for the bottom navigation bar here that I have I think I missed something on so basically for the design that for this button it have to be like this which is the different color so let me figure out how to do this so first of all you select you change to the layer mode and then you select the rectangle and then it back here and try to use this color oh it doesn't affect so let me try again you select this border and then it have to be this color okay so just use this pen drop and put here and you add to the document like this correct yeah but you can't see anything I think that it have to be darker oh no maybe softer okay we got it so the purpose by changing the color is to uh, to make the user is not really focused on the create account so we're gonna save this color and I think I want to delete this but I don't know how <laughs> okay so create the account and then we choose the last color you see the the user is not really aware for this and actually this is the purpose of the send in okay and then like this okay good now we are continue for this navigation button bar first of all I'm gonna delete this because I don't need this anymore and thank you very much and then we can continue to find the other references of the navigation okay okay basically <laughs> yeah we found the design for the navigation right so basically this is references for the icon so right now just focus on this color I think 
it good already with the color but I am not agree we are using the border so we just remove the border and then we focus on the white color okay right, let's me check out okay so later on we will design the icon either design or we can find the design resource for the icon for the dashboard all right it depends on the budget and the time so basically if you don't have time that you can download for free commercial or you can buy it as online you can buy from the other design so right now i just want to finish all of the screen okay so then after that we can uh, continue to designing the icon but first of all let me try this prototype i think it looks nice now well we are full the color nice okay okay oh i can't continue seems like i forgot to make the hyperlink here so later on we will figure we will fix it the design all of this okay so let me finish first for this design okay everyone so all design is being completed for the visual design but we still have homework for the illustration and for the icon right so later on we are going to designing the icons and the illustration for this mobile application so okay everyone i think it was useful for you but i'm sorry if i got a mistake on that video so after that we will continue how to design the icon and might be how to design the illustration for this app so stay tuned on my channel and don't forget to like comment and share with your friends and please subscribe my youtube channel so nice to meet you from indonesia see you in the next video bye